So I've seen a lot of discussion lately online about people doing overlays and creating then and now images and how you can try to line things up to make sure that the backgrounds are the same and things like that. So one of the things I thought I'd talk about today is just about doing and focusing on the overlays and how you might be able to do it and creating different layers and making sure they get the backgrounds lined up correctly. So looking at the famous um, dead sharpshooter in Gettysburg, in Devil's Den in Gettysburg, and I'm going to try to take this image and overlay it with uh, a modern view that I took. So here you have the what it looks like today and then the original image. So I'm going to go ahead and load up my favorite print program which is GIMP and I'm going to open up my original um, or my modern image first because what we want to do is we want to create layers. Think of it like a sandwich. So I want to create layers on here and my bottom layer is going to be my modern image because I want to put the original image on top of that. So if I ever want to be able to look through it or whatnot, I can do that. So then the next step is I'm going to go ahead and open up the original image. So go file, but I don't want to just open it because opening it will allow will open it up as a separate image. I want to open it as a layer, and I'm going to pick the original. So now you can see that the the original image is a lot larger than my um, than my current modern version, and that's part of the problems that that I ha that we have with when we're looking with especially the larger images from the Library of Congress. So the first thing you need to do is you need to scale this layer. So make sure you're selected on the original image layer. And then I'm going to go to uh, layer. And then I'm going to come down to scale layer. And you can see it's 7,500 uh, 7, pixels. So in my current version is 2,048 2, pixels. So I'm just going to try to do uh, 2,000 here. And then I'm going to hit scale. I'm going to get a little bit closer. So now you can see they both sort of fit in the same frame. And if I turn this one off, I can see it. So I can use my eyes over here to turn these off and on, and you can see the, how they are interacting. Okay. So the next thing I want to do is I want to try to line up these, you know, the cracks and or these rocks and that sort of thing to see how much, see how close I can get with aligning this. But as you can see, I can't see the lower, the original image unless I go like that. So what I need to do is I need to change the opacity or the how visible the original image is. So if I come up here, I can either drag and make it darker so I can see I can drag it so it's completely opaque. Um, or I can just do it with the little button. So I'm just going to kind of drag it down. I'm going to put it at 50% right now. So I can sort of see both images in the background and I can try to play around with lining them up. And I can see different images walk going through and how they might try to line up and how the images are going to align. So one of the things that I like to do, I want to go ahead and turn this off for a second and I'm going to actually add a new layer. And I'm going to call this layer alignment and I'm going to click OK. Now you don't see nothing, anything on the screen, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. I'm going to select my paintbrush, and I'm going to pick a bright color. I like this bright green, and I'm going to change my size. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a couple of lines here. I'm going to draw this is the top of the thing. Here's this crack right here. I'm going to try to get a little bit closer, and um, maybe this rock right here. So now, if I turn back on the original one, I can see, and I change it to, I want to make sure that I'm back selecting this one, and I change the opacity, I can see that my rocks are a little bit off. Again, some of this could be to scale, but if I would come up like this, that's my crack that I have in the rock, and I could try to line these up. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to try to scale this down just a little bit. I think it's a little bit big. And we'll get a little bit closer to the image. But you can start playing around with how much the image relates. And I can start to see through it. And I'm getting a little bit closer right there. Now I can change my opacity and start to see how close I, I'm getting. 
to the image and how it lines up. But it's just some tips on how you can do it. And I, you can sit and play around with it a little bit. Now some of this again is all about the angle that you have and the angle of the picture that you've taken. If it, if it, is it in fact exactly the same? See, I can actually see through here that I'm actually getting really close with this rock right here as well. So I've got this rock here lined up and I've got this rock here lined up, but I'm a little bit off on these ones here. So again, you can play with the scale, but you kind of get the idea that this rock there can kind of line up with that one. And if I need to change the scale a little bit, I can. So I can make the scale a little bit bigger so that I can play around with where everything falls within the image. And it takes some time to get it. And again, my picture, my, my original or my modern photograph might not be exactly the same. But it kind of gives you a, a way to start aligning these images. So again, you got to make sure you play with the opacity and how bright it is and turning it up and down so you can kind of see them coming through each other. And make sure that you have your layers, the proper layer selected when you are working on them. And again, if you want to create those then and now photographs, there's a neat, you know, I have a video on how you can do that. But this was just to focus on the opacity of the images and the layers and how they all fit together. And as long as you're just playing around with it and having fun learning about the American Civil War, that's what we're looking for. So if you have any questions, shoot me an email or if you have, be sure to check out my other videos over there online. Thanks.